Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Fernanda Patino. <laughs> yeah. Jay Z, how are you? Hi, and you? Doing great. How uh, how about in Argentina? Uh, what the virus? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think there are about a hundred people infected already. So I'm trying to stay home and I'm working from home all day long. Ah, okay. Yeah, so all my classes are online now. Yeah, that's good. I don't have to go out so I don't get that exposed. What about and, you? Uh, ah, okay. I working. Uh, only the traffic is more is less, less. Uh, There's less today, traffic? Less traffic. Or it's today, light light or yeah um and then to prepare uh have a, we buy uh, groceries okay for 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 the future yeah i don't know uh -huh. to prepare yeah, you, you kind of need to have reserves just in case okay okay yeah, uh, that's what I have to do. I need to go shopping tomorrow because ah, I don't okay. have I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, yep. And uh, you buy online? And shopping no. online? Yeah, you know what? I could do that actually. Yep, I could do that. But I I want to go out. I'm tired of being home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Okay. Out. But I'm wait uh, I'm waiting for my face masks. So once I get them, I'm going to try to go out a little bit. Ah, okay. Great. Katia? Be careful. Yes, I will. Thank you. Katia, can you hear us? Yes. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> oh, and I can see you now. Hi. Oh, Hi. Katia, you're getting exposed to a virus every single day. Yes. More than anyone else. How do you feel? Are you afraid? Mm, a little. I worry. Why oh. my friends, my my brother is doctor too. Mm -hmm. You're he worried about your friends. Yes. Okay, I understand. Freddy? Hi Freddy. I can't hear you. You're muted. Let me see. Say something. Hello, hello. Yes, I hear you very far away. Why? I don't, I don't know why. Put the microphone closer to you, like this. Look, Put it closer. Yes, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay, welcome guys. Thank you for rejoining the class. I know it's difficult times, but still we have to do our best, right? We're going to practice. Last night we were talking about um, how to respond. Right, how to respond to short questions. Let me access the platform. Let's make sure. Are you working on the platform, guys? Everyone? Yes. You are? How far are you? <laughs> you haven't, Katya? How far are no, you? No, I don't have time. Oh, okay. Maybe throughout the weekend, right? But you can catch up right now. So do some work. Let's see. Let me access here. Um, so none of you were, was in class last night. I think we're gonna have to review that topic quickly before we can practice because okay. I didn't see any of you. Katya, were you in class last night? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. So you were. Very good. One second. Taking a while. How much parties with family? All right. 
Oh, we have to do a listening about uh, Carnival. It might take a while. This, for some reason, this exercise is a little bit complicated. So take notes on the answers so you can keep them for later, right? Let's listen. Um, what is a carnival? Do you have that answer, any of you? No? Okay, nope. access the platform. Okay, I really recommend you to do this right now and let's do it together because it, this is a little bit tough. Okay, so okay. Uh, read the instructions, please. Ready? Listen to the audio and answer the following questions. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's read. Let's read the questions first before we listen. JC, go ahead. What is a carnival? What is a carnival? Number two, continue. Read all of them. Ah, okay. How long does it last? Number three, when is it? When is it? Number four, when is it? Uh, number four, what is the samba? Very good. Ready to listen? Okay. Pay close attention, please. Hey. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, did you get the answers? What is a carnival? I got um, carnival is uh, in the party of the, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's say it's a party. Let's see if that works. Okay. Number two, how long does it last? For all days. In four, let's see, four whole days. Um, let's hope uh, that it accepts them. That's the right answer. Is when is it? No idea. No. I heard late 
February. Late February and early March. Late February, early March. I don't know if it is correct. We're going to check. And what is Samba? What is Samba? Daisy? Mm -hmm. Tap dance, right? Let's see. Joseph and Dance? <gasps> None of the answers are right. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, I knew it. This is very complicated. It happened to me before. Hi, Miguel Flores. Yeah, First are... time I see you this module. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? How have you been? Fine, fine. I'm so tired. Where have you been? <laughs> that should be the question. <laughs> Busy? Noe, welcome. Noe, have you finished this part by any chance? Uh, you want to shed light? I have done yet. You haven't? Oh my gosh, you are my only hope right now. It's a party. Let me see. We're, we're going to say four days. Maybe that works. Late February. Maybe February and March. Maybe that works. It's a dance, I'm going to say. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to wait for the answers, okay? Nope. No. <laughs> Oh my lord. So let's skip it. And I will have to find the answer somewhere. Because I used to teach this module in the past. So I should have those answers somewhere. I'm gonna try to find them. All right, uh, read the objective, please. Let me see who, Miguel, go ahead. In this session, you will listen and practice and conversation about within customs, adverbial clauses of time will be introduced. Okay, very good. Let's watch, pay attention to the vocabulary and everything. Okay, here we go. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family, family members and close friends. Can you guys see well? No. no. I see it blurry. Aha, uh -huh, now you learned the word. Very good. Yes, yes. It, is, <laughs> it is blurry. Okay, I think this was on the internet, if I'm not wrong. So, wedding costumes and uh, interchange. Let me see if I can find it. Costumes interchange. Book. <laughs> yes, that's a book actually. Wedding costumes. Oh, mm -mm. Okay. We're going to have to do the listening and I'll look for it meanwhile, all right? Before we can practice. I don't know why this is story. Right, try your best to see, okay? I can kind of see your wedding pictures are really beautiful. No. Thank you. Uh, those pictures, yeah, you can kind of understand just a little bit. Yes. Okay, I'm going to look for it. All right, pay attention and I'm going to look for it. Maybe I can find it. Listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. 
Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Hi. Okay, let's answer the questions. What did they give their guests? They gave presents. They gave presents. Okay, I found a dialogue. Yeah, here it is. You're gonna be able to see it, but you need to open WhatsApp, okay? Check WhatsApp, I'm gonna send it to you so we can practice it. Um, here you are. Okay, and so uh, read with me. There it is, I sent it. So you can see it. Okay, open WhatsApp, ready? Hi, Hazel. Welcome. Okay, everybody unmute the microphone. Let's read. I'm gonna unmute everyone and unmute yourself. Okay, so open WhatsApp. Let's read the dialogue. Repeat after me and we're gonna say, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Your wedding, your wedding pictures, pictures are really are beautiful, beautiful, Emiko. Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Say right after. Pictures were taken right after. Right after. You like this. Right after. Right after. Connected. Right after. Right after. Yes. After the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? Where was the ceremony? Where was the ceremony? Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people, when people get, get married, married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? That's interesting. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but afterward we have a reception with family and friends. Well, well, usually only family, family members, 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 close friends, 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 fri
It sounds, sounds like, like fun. Like fun. Mm. It fun. really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. It really is. And then uh, before, then before, before the guests leave, 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 the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents. The guests get, 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 guest get, get presents. Get presents. Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and the guests money give money to room. the bride and groom. Right. Okay, Freddie, did you get the dialogue? I no. sent it to WhatsApp. Are you on WhatsApp? I opened my WhatsApp, but I'm not. I don't have the dialogue. Oh, I'm not sure if you want if you have another group. Um, everybody received it, right? Yes. 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 Huh. I don't know what don't happened. Know why. Right? Maybe you're yes, in a, I are know. you in a, what group are you? What's the name of it? No, just have the, the logo. And uh -huh, it's a number. The, can you read it for me, please? It says, Inglés Corporativo by Real International SA. The seven number five zero three seven two six three one nine two eight. That's a phone number. No, I was I was looking yes. for the group number. Uh, Jonathan, the... Guz Jonathan Guzman says. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 That's not a group. That's only his contact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. We can send that to you probably. All right. We're gonna practice this. Is there any new vocabulary? Hold on. I'm gonna share with you here so you can see. One second, let me open it. And you can see as trying. well. Then. What trying. does it mean, trying? I have to show trying. you a picture of that. One second. Here. Bride and groom. I'm, bride I don't and know groom. What okay, else. what's a bride yes. and groom, guys? No, we no, we are getting married. Aha, uh -huh, the ones that are getting married, exactly. Shrine, look at a shrine. I don't want the translation. I want an image. <laughs> this is uh, a shrine. Okay. Shrine. Okay. Okay. Shrine. Uh -huh, very good. Oh. It's like a temple. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shrines right now. Uh -huh, it's Rhyme. some sort of a temple. Mm -hmm. It's in Japan, I think. <laughs> okay, the bride and the... This is the bride and this is the groom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ones that are about to get married, like Noe said. What else? Mm. Bride is, is like a couple or what? No, bride is la novia, the one who's about to get married. Mm. Uh -huh. After work. What is after the meaning after work? Means later. So after <laughs> after that, that's what it means. Like after, like after party. Uh, no, 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 oh, okay. no. No, it means after that. That's what it means. After the mm -hmm. ceremony. Uh -huh, exactly. That's what it means after the ceremony. It could be after anything. Okay, you but af no, after I, I understand what it, what is the meaning of after, but afterward I don't afterward understand. means after that. So if I tell you, for example, uh first we're going to have dinner. Afterward, we're gonna go out. Okay. It's the same as after that, yes. Okay. What else? Thank you. Uh, it's not a good deal, right, guys? You have to give presents to the, <laughs> to the guests, mm -hmm. and they give you money. So it's like you're selling. <laughs> you're selling presents, yes. basically. Speeches? Uh, yeah. OK. Speeches. Um, for example, Speeches. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, no translation, please. Ah, there it is. Okay, so this person, this person is giving a speech. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that person is <laughs> giving a speech. Yeah. What else? Is everything else clear? Like a conference? Uh, when they give a speech, is the person who is speaking. Groom. They don't have any interaction. They only speak, speak, speak. Just listening. Uh, they only speak. What else? Is that it? Uh, teacher, uh, what does groom? Groom, exactly. Uh, this is the groom. Hold on. So this is the bride and the 
and the groom. Boy is getting married. El bo el <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is the bride <laughs> and this is the groom. Mm -hmm. Bride okay. and groom. Thank you. The bride well, What's guy. the difference between bride <laughs> and girlfriend? Oh, because bride is... In English, it has a different name. Puede besar a la novia, okay? It's not like kiss your girlfriend, right? It's kiss your mm -hmm. the bride. Teacher, so they have a different name, yes? The groom is the brave guy. <laughs> the groom is... Oh, come on. It's not a, it's not a good deal for mm -hmm. us either. Not only you who get affected. <laughs> we should be scared too. <laughs> not only men. All right. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes. And I got the dialogue. All right. Let's practice it once. Only once. One person will be Jill. The other person will be Amico. And then we're going to be talking about weddings. Okay. So only once. I'll give you about three minutes to practice. Only three minutes. Ready? Ready. Ready. Oh, and somebody will have to send this to Freddy. Freddy, what's your phone number? Six one. Uh huh. Seven two. Okay. Um. Come on, Freddy. I don't remember right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, one of you is gonna have to send it to Freddy. All right, sorry. So, say it in Spanish. Okay. Repeat again. Uh -huh. Six one seven two. Six one seven two four seven. Uh huh. Three five. <laughs> this is gonna be on YouTube, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Him giving out his number. No, no, please no. <laughs> it will be. All right, accept the invitation, please. Let's practice quickly. Three or four minutes maximum. You don't worry, you don't worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, go. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful. We, wa we have a reception with family and friends. 
the what are receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but afterward we had a reception with family and friends. So, what's the reception like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give a speech and, or sing song. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride, the the bride. bride and groom the bride. give them presents. The guests get present. Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. To the bride, say bride. 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 Yes, and it sounds like fun, Miguel. It sounds like fun. Right, pronounce that it, F. It sounds like fun. Yes, did you finish it practicing? It sounds like fun. Yes. Okay, very good. We're going to go back. Okay. okay. All right, welcome back. Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yes. The majority did. Okay. And is everybody back? One, two, three. There's somebody missing. Hazel, I think. Where did she go? All right, guys. Pay attention. Close all rooms. What am I doing? No, no, no. Don't accept that. Don't. Stay here. I wanted to share the screen. So we're going to watch a video, all right, on a traditions around the world regarding weddings, okay? Okay. So be ready to take notes because I would like you to try to remember what people do in each country that's going to be portrayed, okay? Ready? Ready. Try to take notes and then you're going to report to me. Let's watch. Okay. Cultures throughout the world have their own unique ideas on how to say I do. We're taking you around the globe to show you how people celebrate their big day. The dollar dance, also known as the money or apron dance, is a tradition associated with countries all over, including Poland, Hungary, Nigeria, Philippines, and Mexico. These videos feature a Mexican-American wedding and Mexican-Filipino wedding. Money is tossed, handed, or pinned onto the couple, while different guests take turns dancing with the newlyweds. The money is a great way to help with a little extra financial support and to let them know you wish them a life of prosperity. Jumping the broom refers to a wedding tradition in which a couple literally jumps over a broom. There's a misconception that it began during slavery in the United States, but it originated in Ghana and is still practiced there. The broom holds spiritual value and symbolizes the sweeping away of evils and past wrongs. Today, some African-American couples include it in their ceremony as a tribute to tradition. In Greece, the kumbaro is similar to the best man. On the morning of the wedding, they help the groom prepare for the ceremony by helping them shave and get ready. It's a practice that signifies trust between close friends. In the days before the wedding, one or both of the fiancés are taken by their friends and family and covered in various substances like soot, feathers, food, and more. The tradition started as a way to ward off danger from supernatural forces. After being covered up, they're paraded around town while their friends make plenty of noise and make a scene for all to see. The Chinese tea ceremony is a wedding tradition that bonds two families together. While kneeling, the couple serves tea to their parents. Traditionally, the couple serves the groom's parents and elders in order of seniority, followed by the bride's family. This serves as a formal introduction to show respect and to express gratitude. In return, the couple usually receives lucky red envelopes with money or jewelry.
In this pre-wedding ritual, turmeric paste is rubbed onto the couple's skin by friends and family. In India, turmeric can signify a lot of things, including purity, fertility, and good health. The paste also gives the couple a nice glow for their big day. The ceremony is usually accompanied by traditional song and dance and is supposed to ease nerves. This German tradition has guests smashing porcelain before the wedding to wish the couple luck in their married life. The couple is responsible for cleaning up the shards to symbolize teamwork. The more shards of broken dishes, the better the luck the couple will have. Okay, uh, what was your favorite custom? I don't I hear like you. Mexico. Okay. One, the one, dollar the one. dollar dance. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the favorite one. Why? Because they give money to the Yeah. To the bride and groom. Because they groom give money and, to the and the bride. Yes. Right. Very good. Okay. T uh, talk to me about each one of them. Volunteers. I need everybody to try to participate, all right? Uh, jumping the broom, what is that about? Ghana. Ghana. Okay, that's in Ghana, but why do they do it? What does it uh, signify? Hazel, JC. What's the meaning of this tradition? Uh, I can't remember either. <laughs> I can't remember. I took notes, but I can't remember about this one. Okay, we're going to skip that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're a mess. <laughs> All right, what about this one? The one in Kumbaro. What is it? Kumbaro. What the the um, close, close friends, the close friends shave mm -hmm. at the men, at the uh -huh. room. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does it signify? No, remember. <laughs> they prepare the room <laughs> to, the, to the wedding. Okay, it means trust. It signifies trust. Trust. Yes, uh, because you confidence. see, they, they uh -huh, confidence, trust, because they see him, they shape him. You know, it's very intimate, kind of. All right, we're gonna go to another part of the world, Scotland. What do they do in Scotland? The blackening. This is horrible, blackening. guys. Horrible. <laughs> what? What is it? I don't understand. <laughs> you didn't understand. Who did? No. JC? No. To prepare. What? <laughs> Cooking. Cooking? <laughs> no. They don't prepare the food like this. Can you imagine everybody's going to have soup tonight? Here you go. <laughs> no. What is it? So it's like they shower them in a lot of substances and it's, it helps them supposedly make the, how do you call them? supernatural things stay away from them these are superstitious all right yeah friends make noises okay china the tea ceremony what is it about it's a formal introduction say with the with the family mm -hmm. okay and they they give uh, money and jewelry to the couple okay they cry <laughs> no. they cry. very good and, uh, uh, uh respect respect respectful no oh, it okay it shows respect or it shows the respect uh, it to the shows family, respect. the bride or or groom that makes sense. Very good. It shows respect. Okay, in so, India. Then some cover. What is that yellow? I don't know. 
They didn't say exactly what it was. It said uh, at the look look like mustard. Mustard. <laughs> oh yes, right. <laughs> okay, and why do they do that? Uh, I don't know. Um, it gives them a good look, and it also I don't know some sort of superstition. Potter event. What is that? Breaking dish. Broke the dishes. They Broke break the dishes. dishes. Okay. And what's the meaning? I... <laughs> we have bad memory. The couple to uh -huh. work yes. together. Yes, exactly. The couple has to work together. So it means teamwork. Mm -hmm. So along the relationship, they're going to have luck and they're going to stay together in working teams. Okay, now we're going to discuss some questions. I'm going to send these questions to your WhatsApp, all right? We're going to talk about marriage. Uh, let's discuss one as a group, okay, before I send it to you. Read the first question, please, Katia. What makes a happy mar marriage? Uh huh. So, what makes a happy marriage? What are the requirements, the ingredients, guys? I don't know. <laughs> Let's imagine. I'm single. Katia. Let's imagine. I'm single. Who's single? Um, so, Katia, something. you're single. Yes. Mm, Hazel, are you single? No, I'm married. You're married. Yes. Ready? Uh, I'm single. Okay, so I guess only Katya, Freddy, and I are single. The rest of us, well, the rest of you are married. You are going to tell us what it is, okay? What the ingredients are for a happy marriage. Um, <laughs> Illustrate. Think, Share the ingredients. Are I you single, good... though? Yes. Okay, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe you. Don't lie to us. Yes, I... Uh, actually, I'm separated. Ah, okay. that makes sense. It's like um, half, <laughs> half single. Half single. <laughs> yeah, you're separated. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, somebody wanted to answer. Hazel, you wanted to say something? Can uh, I? You. Okay, I think uh, you can. You can have. Uh, have, I don't know. You can make a happy marriage mm -hmm. when you when the couple have a good communication and the principal ingredient in the in the in, in the marriage is God. For okay. me, uh, it's my opinion. Very good. All right, we're going to discuss those questions in small groups. All right. Let me see. In one second. I'm going to make two small groups and discuss all the questions. All right. Any questions okay. before we start? <coughs> no, it's okay. No, all good. All right. Accept the invitation, please. The question in WhatsApp or no? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let us see. Okay, read question number two, Noy. How does, uh -huh, so we can How start does discussing. The idea of getting married made you feel excited, <laughs> calm, happy, scared. Uh huh. No way, how does it make you feel? Excited? Um, um, I, think, I think so. I, I feel, I think excited and a little nervous. Okay. 
Yes, because I can't imagine the life. <laughs> Go ahead, Fred. Sorry. No, I was saying that I can't imagine the life when I get married. You can't. Are you afraid? I can't. No, I'm not afraid, but I think it, it it's going to be good. My girlfriend is a good person. Ah, okay. So that gives you confidence. Very good. Miguel Angel? Yes. <laughs> Miguel uh, Flores? Yes, teacher. I feel exciting. Um, excited? Poor, uh, excited. Uh, I'm poor, excited. Um, I'm a, a little scared. A little scared. And wow. Uh -huh. uh, a little happy <laughs> because it's a new experience. But for a, a long, long time in, in the future. Right. Are you single, Miguel? No, I'm married. Hmm, okay. I'm married. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Next question. Would you read it, Miguel? Okay. Well, a lot of fighting. Okay. Some people say that marriage is outdated. Outdated. The meaning of outdated is too old-fashioned and not needed. Do you agree or disagree? I'm disagree. I disagree. Uh, I'm disagree. Outdated. Too old-fashioned or not needed. Too old-fashioned. Uh, Hazel, you disagree. Why? Yes, because uh, in my case, I I am ten years of. You, you have to say I have married. I have been married for ten years. Ah, uh, I have been married for, for ten, ten years. years. Yes. Okay, and I love I love my husband, and we. We we are like when we were we was when you were dating. Obvious. Oh, okay. When we were dating. Uh huh. Oh, that's so nice. Very good. What about you, Katya? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Katya, are you falling asleep? <laughs> A little. Hmm? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have idea. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but is it old fashioned? Because I don't, I don't have experience being married either. But I can tell you, I think here in Argentina, it's very old fashioned. People don't want to get married; they avoid it. The new generation. New generation, huh? Yeah, new generation. Uh, think about a uh, married it's uh, as, as old-fashioned as old-fashioned uh, okay, because why uh, have that situation jc explain to us i think so it's for because uh, i think it's because of i think because of mm -hmm. the the young have a youth uh, have a not the young Jason, work youth yes uh -huh. have a uh, a job, job. Mm -hmm. uh, have a house have a, a food okay. when you live with your parents <laughs> ah okay i see what you're saying okay mm, more uh, more people is intelligent for no expensive for <laughs> Uh, or, or try to marry it. <laughs> yes, okay, that makes sense. Good, good. I think so. Yeah, all right, read the next question, please, Katya. Describe your perfect spouse. Spouse? Spouse. Spouse. spouse.
and for a moment to walk together. See on the only only way. But in different times of of life, uh, have a different ways. Um, then uh, back to to because you have to make things with your with your wife you have to make things or you have to do things because make do is more things. like create yes all right we have to go back okay, okay. All right, what a philosophical conversation about marriage, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Kate was like, what are you talking about, guys? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm lost, I'm lost. <laughs> hey, it's okay, I mean, you don't need to be married. To have... I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh, did you learn something, Katia? Yes. yes, yes. What did you learn? <laughs> Tell me. Teach me, because I need to learn too, uh-huh. Tell me, Katia. Um... For example, the I how do you say in English? Hazel is playing Spanish for me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Hazel, uh -huh. <laughs> Because I don't understand. I, I didn't understand. What was it? Um, is not a perfect person. Mm -hmm. That. Um, so it, it, not... it doesn't need to be a perfect person. Yes. So you shouldn't look for a perfect person, just somebody who loves you, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not there, but all right. Very good. Okay. Do you have any questions, guys? No. No. No yet. Okay. No, Tomorrow we're not talking about marriage. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Don't run away, Katya. Don't run away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for marriage, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you for being night. in class, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a beautiful night. See you okay. tomorrow. See you. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.